females are positioned to become a practice difficult in the neck, structures, cultural and different things, and the of the planet. However, speaker, it seems to be religious quality and say that cultural norms are not valid. The final ban of female circumcision is a direct violation. Given the young age predominantly Muslim population and the law is inconsistent with the aspiration of the majority of the people to be reconciled. Female circumcision is a cultural significant practice supported by Islam, values and tradition, which clear proofs uh, of the teaching of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It is noted that the use of laws to restrict religious or cultural practice, whether international or otherwise, and lead to company and friction. Interestingly, the continuous existence of the ban of female circumcision and penalizing practitioners has directly contradicted the broader principles of United Nations and women religious through its agencies, preservation and practice by anti-female circumcision movement, label the practice as population. <laughs> and it is no way of fact in this act and previous acts labeled fully that female genital population it is called female circumcision. Both period and this is what has, that is the process. <clears throat> Properly conducted circumcision as for religious guidelines and teachings is cannot, is not and cannot be deemed mutilation. Emphasizing the decision in crucial and basically concerned with my activists. Revolting the ban on female circumcision will allow people to enjoy the practice the law of precautions, guidelines, guided by the religious, diligent, and care. Honorable Speaker, we believe that this practice not only work on the collocation of circumcision, female circumcision, but it has to be called female initiation. <coughs> this is where our young dads, our sisters, our mothers are afraid of how to respect them. Are afraid how to respect in their marital state. I pray how to be in the society. I also pray to make sure they know who blame is and who they don't. So these are practices that are, if, it is, if the violence is continuing, it is going to send an ugly face to our country, an ugly face to our religion, an ugly face to our tradition. And the tradition is a movement so far in progress as well. Honorable Speaker, I see progress in the democratic dispensation. We believe that female circumcision is called it is sunnah in the teaching of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It is muskarat. It is also what? It is something that is likely. So I believe so, for the speaker, with various international sorry, provisions of the 1997 constitution. <laughs>
Lord is a thing of the past. Why do you want to go back and make the same? We all know that the economy is not good for us. And we know it's not good for our health of our members. Why? And when the other was here, the people that are wounded today, those are the people that support the business. As you have told them, let's go here, you want us to continue putting blame on our bad time, we are saying, tell us about that. And I'm calling all members, this place should die today and we bear it. Let's have mercy. I'm fasting, this has nothing to do with Islam. Why do you want to use God to make them on me? Why do you want to use religion and make it God? Let it be God. Our guys, today, I let you say, we don't have to don't have to have to Today, I let you say, that woman has suffered enough. I have evidence. The doctors are telling you we have evidence. Every hospital in this country, when you go there, they have to be disabled. And in the disabled, the dangers are there. Mr. Speaker, it's really sad to sit down, people grasp, and one thing that I will never regret. Because I disagree with you. The prophet has never given you to pray for me. If you are right, pray for me to follow the right thing. But you don't pray for me to be astray. That is never the right of the prophet. And on that note, my colleague, that's a clear number. Let's pray. There is no reason for me. There is no reason here. My colleague, there is this. We are in the interest of the nation. This is not in the interest of the nation. My colleagues, this has come to make end on our lives as a nation. I'm telling you, very And if you want, don't give me very here. Give me the people who are very good at the
some time ago, a particular faith in this country called the legal community were denied in performance of what they believe in their faith and their belief. During the years, they were given time and right to testify and human rights activists and the human rights commission themselves justify those people to be practicing their belief. Anybody who stop them from doing that, you are violating their human rights. But can some say that same human rights commission and those to tell Muslims that you cannot practice this who believe it is a religious practice and it's a cultural practice. Let me call this section of the country for the speaker for your purpose. Section 1, I will start with that of the Constitution of the Gallery. It says, the, this
found to be inconsistent with the manipulation of this constitution itself. To the extent of the inconsistency before, this law that we have of banning the freedom of female circumcision is inconsistent with our national Our national constitution, section 25, subsection 1c of the constitution says, Freedom of practice, freedom to practice any religion and to manifest such practice. This provision or this ban of female circumcision is inconsistent with the constitution. By restricting Muslims, part of the section of the population who believe this is their religion and this is their cultural practice. It is discriminated. It is discriminated. Why do we need to know that? And in fact, if we have a law, whether it is discriminating by the constitution or not, if we have a law that discriminates more than 75% of the population of the country, it's a bad law in any country you go. It's a bad law. It's a bad law whether it's religious or cultural or whatsoever. Any provision that discriminates 75% of the population of that country is a bad law. Honorable Speaker, people who do not know to them at their wisdom and to me they are out of wisdom. Claim that this is not really the God we. We ask them, anybody who give me an evidence of one guy child who has gone to level and has a health complication because of female circumcision. I'm not saying female gender mutilation. Because of female circumcision, as advised by Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. If you give me an answer right now, I swear I will leave this one and say this one right now. You have been on the advocate, you cannot give me more one statistic. And I'm only going to remember who makes laws. The same laws there, you have taken your lifetime. For you, if the security officers do not arrest you after this, after this season, if they arrest you, let's go out and protest. You, 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 you,
One member shall be put in proper mode to any other member. The Honorable 